Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun video, and since it's almost Valentine's Day, here's a compilation of 20 pranks and booby traps you can set up on February 14th. These are really great to get a good laugh while pranking your loved ones or significant other. But before we get going with these, let's get to the giveaways. And I'm happy to announce that we did reach a few like goals in some of my previous videos, so please pay attention to the following as I might choose you as a winner. First off, here's the winner of the box of snacks. Joe Hokey. Congratulations little Juju, you have won a brand new drone that records video. And now the winner of the PlayStation 4. Congratulations to Lightning Bolt Studios. I know you want a Nintendo Switch, but you will be getting a brand new PlayStation 4 in the mail instead. All these giveaways were made possible by you and your support, so I hope you guys continue supporting my videos. Now as far as the giveaways for this video, once this video gets 2000 likes, I will give away a really cool slime kit to someone from the comments. At 7000 likes, I will give away a hoverboard with LEDs and speakers. And at 12,000 likes, I will give away another PlayStation 4. And to participate is very simple. All you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me what you want to get for Valentine's Day this year. Also guys, next to your comment, leave your Instagram username. It is very important that you do that. I really don't care where you live or what your age is. Everyone is eligible for these giveaways as soon as we reach our like goals. Once again guys, to enter these giveaways, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. One last thing, I recommend that you subscribe with all the notifications turned on. That way you'll know sooner whether you won or not. Best of luck guys. Now let's get pranking. Let's kick things off by getting romantic with a smoke ball. You'll also need a small candle and a small cup to put the candle in such as this one right here. So basically what we're gonna do is take the candle and slice it in half. We only need the top half. With a little bit of strength you should be able to pull off the wick. See? Now we have a small opening we can put the fuse of the smoke ball through. So let's do just that and this is what we get a smoke ball underneath the candle. The cup will help cover our tracks, so put the candle and smoke ball in there. When you give it to a friend and they try to light it up, they'll be in for a smoky surprise. Of course guys, this particular prank is just for entertainment. Please do not attempt to do at home, it's just fun to watch. <laughs> what do you guys think about that booby trap? Well, to achieve something like that, you'll need a stuffed animal such as this teddy bear as well as a can of silly string. Notice this teddy bear is holding a heart and that will come in handy later. So the idea here is to hide the can of silly string inside the teddy bear. So in order to do that we need to make a cut on the teddy's bottom and take out enough cotton to make room for the can of silly string. Also guys make an opening on the bear's mouth because that's where the silly string will shoot from. And here you can see that I'm choosing to upsize my can. Now guys to booby trap the silly string can you'll need to jam a push pin inside the nozzle and then push down on it. A strong piece of tape should hold it in place. Remember the heart that the bear is holding? Well now we are gonna detach it from its body like so because we will reposition it on the bear's mouth. Push the booby trap silly string can into the bear's body until you can see the nozzle through the bear's mouth. With a safety pin we will attach the push pin and the heart together. Lastly you can sew up the bottom of the bear so no one gets suspicious about it. That's pretty much it guys. Give it to someone special on Valentine's Day and tell them to pull on the bear's heart for a cool surprise. And when they do that, well they'll be sprayed with a bunch of silly string all over and towards the end it will look like the teddy bear barfed some green slime. This right here is a can of peanuts. Lots of people like eating these and others are deathly allergic to them. Well guess what guys, this can contains no peanuts. It's actually a gag toy that anyone can fall for once they pop it open. Three snakes shoot out and it will startle just about anyone. So for Valentine's Day let's set up a booby trap using a couple of the snakes from the can of peanuts. For this you will need two styrofoam cups and a decorative Valentine's Day container. Start off by trimming off the cups to the height of the container. Use a pair of scissors for that. 
with hot glue stick them inside the container. Try to spread them apart though. Something like this will do. To make things a bit more interesting, add some candy hearts inside. Now it's time to put the snakes inside the cups. One snake per cup. If you want, add more candy hearts on top. As you hold the snakes down, place the lid over them and shut it. You'll definitely get someone good with this prank on V-Day. When it comes to Valentine's Day, there's really nothing more romantic than flowers, right? So let's booby trap some. And here I have a half a dozen plastic roses. And the way that we will set up this prank is with the help of a gag toy known as the squirting rose. This is a gag rose that has a plastic hose underneath that leads to a small pump. Let's fill up the pump with water and attach it to the rose. When you squeeze on it, it squirts water through the center of the rose. We can hide the booby trap rose among the other roses. Keep the pump on the bottom end and hide it with your hand. As you're about to hand the roses to your significant other, squeeze on the pump and spray their faces with water. You'll get them every time. Here's how you can booby trap someone's hairbrush. For this to work, the brush has to look like this. Notice that it has openings all over such as on the bottom and on the side. Well, we are gonna cover these up with some clear tape. Just place tape over the openings and trim it down so it doesn't look suspicious. It really does help if the brush is black or dark because we will be filling it up with some soda. And I'm choosing Diet Coke for this. Just let the brush sit there until someone decides to use it and when they do so, they will get soda all over their hair. Look at how messy this can get guys. It's definitely worth the trouble of setting up this prank. As you can see right here I have a bunch of traditional Valentine's Day candy hearts and I'm gonna fill up this cup with them all the way to the very top. I'll place a sheet of paper over it and while holding on to the top of the cup I'll flip it over and slide out the sheet of paper. You can write something clever on it such as this. I also placed a box of candy hearts on top that will weigh down the cup. When someone lifts up this cup they all have candy hearts all over the place. Look what I found on the Valentine's Day aisle at Walmart. It's a Hubba Bubba bubble tape container. I love these because you never really know what you'll find inside. Sure, this one has a roll of bubble tape, but we'll get rid of it and close it up. Make sure that it pops in shut as we will be filling up the container with some ketchup and to achieve that we'll have to peel up the decorative sticker on the back. Just enough so that we can create an opening on the container. Something like this will work. With a special kitchen syringe we'll extract some ketchup and fill up the bubble tape container. Try to add as much ketchup in there as possible. To cover our tracks we'll just lay down the sticker and no one will suspect anything. And if you happen to give this bubble tape container to someone they'll be in for a messy surprise such as this one. They'll get ketchup all over their hand. Right now Sinfado is about to show you how to booby trap someone's lipstick. You'll have to be very fast and sneaky with this one guys. Start by prepping a bunch of spicy peppers inside a bowl. Grind them up and use force when doing this. You want to get to that spicy extract. We can easily get a sample with a cotton swab. Then you take that cotton swab and rub it on the tip of your victim's lipstick. Put it back where it goes and eventually they'll fall for this spicy prank. Let's get someone good with this fake gift bag prank. Pretty much what you need is a large gift bag such as this red one. All you do is take a styrofoam bowl and fill it up with some candy hearts. Build up the bag and tape the bowl underneath it. All you need is one piece of tape for this. Let it sit there and tell your victim you left them their Valentine's Day gift on the counter and when they come over to pick it up, they'll make a little mess. Now if you want to make a bigger mess, just swap out the candy hearts with some water and you'll have them spilling it all over the counter. It's a big mess that they'll have to clean up. Here's another gift bag prank that you guys can pull off on Valentine's Day. Take some scissors and poke a bunch of holes on the bottom of the gift bag. Fill up a paper plate with any liquid of your choice. I'm going with water here. Slide the plate inside the bag while it's laying on its side and leave the bag semi-closed. At this point the prank is set. When your victims come over to take a peek, they'll fall for this wet prank. Prank magic tricks are always fun, so let's set up one. You'll need one of these typical Valentine's Day containers. You can find these at Walmart during V-Day season. It's a tube filled with candy and the top is in the shape of a heart. So let's pop that off so that you can see that if we remove the bottom with a blade, the inside is hollow which will help hide our candy. All we do now is put the top back where it goes and flip it upside down till all the pieces of candy disappear. You can easily make them reappear by flipping it right side up. 
So give this to someone while it's upside down and tell them that you ate their candy. But of course, when you flip it over, look at that. The candy reappears. Next, we're gonna do a classic candy switcheroo. To pull this off, you'll need two types of candy that look the same but taste different, such as these Mike and Nike and hot tamales. Yeah, these hot tamales are hot, hence the name. So let's dump out the Mike and Nike into a bowl and on it, let's add some hot tamales. Mix them all up and put them back. When you give the Mike and Ike to someone, they will not know the difference until it's too late and they're already eating it. Let's go back to using the container we booby trapped with some snakes. This time we are gonna give someone a little scare. So add some candy inside, but on the lid we are gonna tape a severed hand. This is a Halloween prop that I had laying around. It's sure to give someone a good scare when they lift up the lid. For the following prank, Let's get super evil and booby trap a large stuffed teddy bear. For that you'll need a teddy bear obviously, but you'll also need a fart bag. These things really stink. So we'll start by making a tear on one of the bear's arms. We will stuff the fart bag inside and then staple it shut. The last step is to create a label that says to press for a surprise. Wrap that around the bear's wrist and that's it. Someone will eventually press on it hard and cause the fart bag to pop and in the process the bear will release a horrible smell. This is great for Valentine's Day. If you want to get someone's hopes up with a large piece of chocolate, try the following prank. And here I have a giant Reese's peanut butter heart. It's wrapped in red foil and it's inside a box, so it's very presentable. Well, we're gonna swap out that peanut butter heart with a heart shaped box that contains smaller chocolates inside. So let's pull out the peanut butter heart from the box and unwrap the foil. Gently take it out. The chocolate box will need to get trimmed a little so it fits inside the red foil. Look at that, it fits in perfectly and now we can put it inside the box. And once we give it to our special someone, they'll be eager to open it and take a bite out of that peanut butter heart. To their disappointment though, it'll just be a heart shaped box. But of course, it's not all bad as the inside will have a few pieces of chocolate. Still though, nothing is better than a peanut butter heart. Look at that guys, doesn't it look delicious? During Valentine's Day, something very common to get is a card such as this one right here. I like this one because it's wrapped in plastic and you'll see why in a second. To pull off the following prank you'll also need some stinky liquid ass and an envelope that's covered in bubble wrap inside. Let's open up the Valentine's Day card and spray it with some liquid ass. Since it's covered in plastic it will not be absorbed by the cardboard that the Valentine's Day card is made of. You might want to do this very fast as this stuff really stinks. To hide the smell put the card inside the envelope. The stink will remain trapped in there until your lucky Valentine's opens it and is greeted by that horrible smell. Don't worry about ruining the card though as you can just cut off the plastic and the card will be alright. Here's another very stinky prank that you can play on someone's purse. Try to empty out the whole thing as you will need to make room in there. For this prank, more liquid ass will be needed as well as a balloon. Extract some liquid ass with a dropper and add it inside the balloon. Now blow up the balloon with air. About this size will do. Tie it and position it inside the purse. Undo a safety pin and tape it onto the balloon such as I'm doing right here. Get a piece of floss in one end tied to the safety pin and the other we will tie to a wallet that I found inside the purse. More tape will be needed to attach the balloon to the inside of the purse. Cover the balloon up with the wallet and that's it. Next time someone opens this purse and pulls out the wallet, it will cause the balloon to pop and therefore all the stink will be released. This is very disgusting guys. Going back to messing with candy, I got another one right here. These are Reese's pieces that are inside this container. Well, I'm gonna pop off the top and remove a few Reese's pieces to make room for this prank. Take a piece of plastic wrap and place it over the container. With a finger, push it in. Here is the fun part pranksters. Get some disappearing ink and pour some inside. Let's put the top back on and now we can just cut off the excess plastic that sticks out. Look at what will happen when someone tries to pop this open. They'll get disappearing ink all over the place including themselves. This is nothing to freak out about as eventually the ink will disappear and there will be no stains. But at first you'll give them a little scare. This is a typical heart shaped box guys and inside I'm gonna fill up with some candy but before I do that I will cut off the bottom. It's very simple to do with a blade. 
See, that wasn't so hard. Now it's ready to be filled with candy and here I have a bunch of candy hearts. All I do now is place the cover on and the prank is set. Just tell someone that you got them a box filled with candy and that it's on the table. When they come over and open it, they'll see that the candy is in there and naturally they'll want to take that box with them, but that's when the prank gets executed. Just like that, they'll have candy hearts all over the place. Just imagine if you used M&Ms or smaller candy, that would make an even bigger mess. Last but not least, let's mess with a girl by booby trapping a tampon. And for this, we will need access to their tampons. So gently open up the wrapper and try not to damage it. For this, we will also be needing the noisemaker from inside a party popper. So get that ready as well. The tampon is inside the tube right here. So we will push it in a bit because we need to glue it on. That means this tampon can never be used. And also you cannot detach it from the tube. The string on this tampon needs to be cut off and we will replace the string with the noisemaker. With some glue attach it onto the tampon. No one will be able to tell the difference and now let's put everything back together and into the wrapper and the prank is set. When someone tries to use this tampon and notices that it's stuck, they'll pull hard to try to get it out and in the process will set off the noisemaker and the loud popping sound that it makes will surely startle them. There you guys have it, 20 funny pranks and booby traps you can set up on your friends and loved ones on Valentine's Day. Have fun with these. Now guys, at the start of this video, I gave away a box of snacks, a drone, and a PlayStation 4. And I also announced 3 new giveaways once we reach certain like goals for this video. At 2000 likes, I will give away a cool slime making kit. At 7000 likes, I will give away an LED hoverboard. And at 12,000 likes, I will give away a brand new PlayStation 4 to someone from the comments. And to participate in these giveaways, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below. I really want to give away another PS4, so I hope we reach those like goals. Good luck to all of you who enter these giveaways. Have an amazing Valentine's Day, and I'll see you pranksters in my next video.